It's physical torture, it's mental torture. Um, you're literally coming undone at the seams. Uh, you're crawling out of your skin. I mean, you know, it's, it's basically like you're living in hell. Back then, Oxycontin didn't have the same ring as heroin, nor do we have the knowledge that, you know, that little pill was gonna lead me down a path of uh, self-destruction. When we first started doing it, we were doing it on the weekends. We were doing it at parties. And slowly but surely, everything started centering around getting that pill every day. Monday through Sunday, a uh, couple pills a day. And uh, that went on for a long time. When you're high, like your body is, everything feels normal, everything feels like, you know, it's exactly how it's supposed to be. You remove that drug and that chemical from your system, you know, your body just unravels. Anxiety kicks in when you don't have any money, when you don't have any source, when your dealers run out, you start going through these chaotic thoughts. You're just drenched in sweat. It's like all your bodily fluids are coming out of your body. Your stomach is twisted in knots. Uh, a lot of people end up puking. I wasn't really a puker when I was sick. I was more the person that, you know, violent diarrhea, uh, pissing out your ass. Your bones ache. Um, you know, they say flu-like symptoms. I've, you know, it's, it's, it's pure agony. I remember, you know, I was dope sick off of oxys, curled up like a baby, and I couldn't afford another pill. And, um, you know, somebody brought a, a bag of heroin to me. And at that point, it didn't matter what it was. I was so sick, I just didn't want to be sick. 